Hey guys, Clayton here, and today I'm going to be reviewing and talking about our most recent shore excursion we did with Carnival Cruise Line. So if you didn't know, recently we just took an 8 day cruise to the Bahamas, and we did end up doing one of Carnival's shore excursions. This shore excursion was called the Snorkel Sunken Sculptures Iguanas in Sun K Beach. So, right when you get off the boat, you're going to be getting off at Nassau, Nassau, however it's pronounced, I've heard it many different ways, and you're going to be going on a short little 20 to 25 minute boat ride over to Pearl Island, which is the island we are currently on now. Once you get to the island, you'll have two options. You can either go snorkeling immediately, or you can go to the iguana encounter, enc enclosure, which is what we ended up doing. Which, the iguanas, in my opinion, was one of my favorite parts. It's something that you can't do every day. You don't get to just go out there and see these giant iguana creatures. So right when you get to the iguana exhibit, you're going to start by everyone in your little group is going to be able to have the chance to hold one of the little baby iguanas that you've seen at the beginning, the one that jumped in the water. Everyone gets the chance to hold that guy, which was a once in a lifetime experience, especially with how big these iguanas end up getting. I believe they said they can get up to five feet long. I'm not a zoologist or anything like that, so don't quote me there. But after you hold the iguana, they give you a stick with a, what looks like an apple of some sorts, and they are like, all right, go feed them. You know, the actual like guide didn't end up feeding them according to this that morning, according to what he said. So he gave us a stick with an apple on it, and you can see we all tried to get the iguanas to eat. Unfortunately, we could not get the iguanas to eat our apples. There were three of us in our group, including myself, so none of us were successful, but as you've seen earlier, someone was successful, which at least was cool. I guess you got to see it a little bit. The only con to this part of the excursion is it is very hot. There is not very much coverage, so I recommend wearing a sun shirt, definitely putting on lots of sunscreen, as this area is completely open. And you're going to be over here probably for maybe 30-ish minutes, just due to the fact that you do have to wait to go back to the snorkeling part, which I will talk about next. And I'm going to take a short little pause and just play the rest of the B-roll until we get to the snorkeling. And as you can see now, we are to the snorkeling part of our excursion, which, in my opinion, was still very fun, but probably the least enjoyable part of the excursion. Just because, as you can see, we're not actually like at some reef, you know, we're not seeing all sorts of different coral. Um, it's just a lot of vegetation and, you know, there's a few fish. But other than that, these sunken sculptures are in the water, which is very cool. But you don't have to do this excursion to actually see these sunken sculptures. I mean, you see them in the pictures. And it's, it's quite unfortunate. I was hoping the snorkeling would have been a little bit more interactive. Um, but for the most part, there's seven sunken sculptures you can see. And then just what you see at the bottom of the ocean. So there's not a whole lot to it. You know, um, it, it's very unfortunate. And another unfortunate thing is this excursion is supposed to come with lunch, which we did miss because our tour guide told us that it didn't start until noon and we got over there probably around two or three thinking it would still be running and they had already packed up shop and were no longer serving lunch, which was quite unfortunate since we did pay for this excursion. It wasn't provided or anything like that. Um, the best part of the excursion 
another great part, I guess, was the boat ride home or back to our port because the guide did do a very detailed list of all the people that live in Nassau, Nassau, um, all the billionaires. They had, there are so many people, Elon Musk, Michael Jordan, they all have houses out there, which was really cool. And it was another part, one of my favorite parts of the excursion. But other than that, I really don't have anything else. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.